Well, the plain fact is, of course, that as far as we're concerned, those stations are completely uneconomic. They give us no money at all if we are to be viable as a railway, and that's Dr. Beeching's plan, and to avoid our deficits, those stations have got to go. At the end of 66, beginning then, they will get a really fine service, probably the best in the country, between the major cities, and that is what counts. Welcome to part two. Um, part two of this day out on Great Central Railway, we're going to be having a look um, around Woodford Hulse. Um, just fetch you up onto these bridges just to the south of, uh, of Woodford Hulse. That's... Uh, I think this the, is part of the Midland line. This is the, the, the junction, this is the spur yeah. off to the... Oh, hang on, I've got this written down. The Stratford and Avon and Midland Junction That's Railway. It. Yeah. And it becomes Woodford Holt's nature reserve, I think. And then there's another uh, another bridge here. It's actually two bridges. That's why it looks uh, it looks so long. Let's have a just a little tip over the side. Here, look. There's another track bed down there. I thought that was the Great Central. That one. I don't think it is. And there's the other way down that track bed up towards Woodford Holt. Woodford Holt probably easier just to explain what's going on at these bridges uh, with this uh, with, with a map the pink line is the stratford and midland junction railway which intersects our gcr main line just to the south of woodford hall station access lines connect north and south from the gcr were stood on this road which passes over all three lines um, so that line that we've just been looking at, the Stratford and Avon Midland Junction Railway, actually predated the Great Central by almost a quarter of a century. So Woodford Hulse, um, we're just uh, we're just close to the station now. Um, station Road, just to the right of us there, and this would have been the station uh, station approach. It's now called Station Yard. We've still got. Some of these um, size of the uh, gate post, and one on that side underneath the ivy. So, this is the first station that we'll uh, encounter today, or first station site, shall we say? Yeah. You think of GCR? If anyone's ever been to the Great Central Railway, um, Leicester Loughborough. Um, that typical station, island platforms, usually a bridge over the top. Similar kind of thing we'll see today. Um, except for this one, um, the entrance was from underneath. And we'll see these two, uh, two twin bridges just approaching us here. Uh, and the platforms were on top. They're quite high bridges. Yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> 15 feet. You can almost imagine the sound of the steam engines. Yeah powering overhead oh, yeah. can't you right so interesting that big archway you can see there just behind Jim is the old station entrance that would have gone the stairs up to the platforms that's a really high arch isn't it yeah, yeah Jim's seven foot five so that just gives you an <laughs> indication of just how high that entrance way is We've got some hinges still, still here, look. Yeah. <clears throat> what a great, these little great little pockets of, of remains of these old railway existences that are still scattered around. And another example of the, the scale of the engineering. A tin can blowing down the road, I wonder what that was then. I mean, this is, it would have been a, 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 a typical sleepy yeah. 
village, wouldn't it? And it's, it's had this railway thrust through the centre of it. And there's the station house just by, well, as you would guess, the station. So Woodford Hulse opened in 1899 when the line opened and it was opened. It was known as Woodford and Hinton in 1948. So not too long before it closed, it was just renamed um, to Woodford Hulse. And then in 1966, um, it closed when this section of line through here closed. So as we saw with those bridges at the start of the video on the way in uh, to Woodford, we had that other railway, the Stratford and Avon and Midland Junction Railway, which arrived in 1873. So it had quite a decent railway setup um, for a small place, didn't it? And it's not just the station and the junction that there was uh, around here because it had quite a sizable railway presence with an engine shed, um, a marshalling yard, quite a large footprint just to the north of the station. Now, sadly, um, as with many things, that's now found a new purpose. Houses, industrial estate, um, etc. But we can look at the old maps and get a feeling just for what it was like in this area and what, what the extent of the railway was. The northernmost sidings, or new sidings as they are also known, were built during the Second World War. We'll see more about the new yard on our next episode. It's climbing up onto the truck bed. Um, see what we can see. Right. Ah, oh, it's nice. Got the information board. Woodford Hulse Railway Heritage Trail, Woodford and Hinton Station. So it's here you'd be standing on the tracks of the Great Central. Yeah. Looking towards the station. So those bridges would just be underneath, it's just there. A nice little spot they've made, made here. Plenty of little nods to the railway. Nice little memorial there. And the information board, uh, information board, the Valor. Right. Okay. Interesting enough, when I was looking for my dad's photographs, he went to the naming ceremony at Sheffield uh, Victoria or the site of Sheffield Victoria station um, not too long ago well I don't know what year it was about 2010 ish I don't, I don't know uh, they named the class 66 efforts uh, to see any remains of the station from up here this is a track bed then isn't it yeah yeah, yeah and this the those bridges like I was saying just there yeah. it's so dense the undergrowth let's just Let's just quickly just see what the drone can see. It does look like the platform is uh, is well consumed or whatever remains of the platform that we think that there still is just by the bridge is well consumed um, thick vegetation even in January but Woodford Hulse so that's the second video um, of today ticked off um, no idea where we're going next I'll just follow Jim so see you on the next one click tick off <laughs>